We are now in the midst of the longest shutdown of the federal government in history. At the stroke of midnight, the shutdown entered its 22nd day with no apparent end in sight. Congress and President Trump are at an impasse over funding for a wall at the southern border. A CBS News poll finds 55 percent of Americans disapprove of the president's actions over the shutdown. 43 percent disapprove of the job congressional Democrats are doing to end it, while 53 percent don't like how Republicans in Congress are handling the situation. Kenneth Craig has the latest on this record shutdown. Kenneth, no one seems happy right now. Good morning. Good morning to you, Dana. President Trump has walked back his vow to declare a national emergency if he has to in order to get his wall. With most lawmakers at home for the weekend, negotiations between the White House and congressional Democrats have fallen apart with no new talks or plans in sight. No, I said I could do it, but it's, well, I'll tell you what. It's the easy way out. President Trump Friday backed away from his earlier insistence on declaring a national emergency to get his border wall. This is something that Congress should easily do. This is something that the Democrats should do. But just a day earlier. If we don't make a deal, I would say it would be uh, very surprising to me that I would not declare a national emergency. On Friday, he doubled down on Democrats to fund his wall. They can name it whatever they can name it, peaches. I don't care what they name it, but we need money for that barrier. I'm a mother of five, grandmother of nine. I know a temper tantrum when I see one. A CBS News poll found that 47% of Americans say they blame President Trump for the partial government shutdown. 30% say they blame Democrats in Congress, and just 3% blame Republicans. We have a country that's being invaded by criminals and by drugs. A majority of Americans, 55 percent of them, believe the situation on the southern border is a problem, not a crisis. A growing number of Republicans are expressing concern at the president trying to bypass Congress. And I think that there's a fair and legitimate question as to whether or not he does have that legal authority. We are going down a road that I think erodes those clear lines of authorities between the three separate but equal branches of government. Meanwhile, federal workers wait to get paid. Federal employees are bearing the brunt of something on their back for a policy initiative that really we don't have anything to do with. But many of them agree with what I'm saying, and I appreciate their incredible support. Before they left Washington, Congress passed legislation to ensure that federal workers receive back pay. The president says he will sign that bill, but until he and Democrats reach a deal, it's unclear when federal employees will get that paycheck, Anthony. Kenneth, thanks very much.